Jesus is the answer for the world today. Hello family, Pastor Laulu from Christian Pentecostal Church here and today I want to uh, just talk uh, very briefly about the fact that God is always in control. No matter what we're going through, no matter where we find ourselves, no matter what it might seem like, God has never left, God has never lost, God is not surprised, God, no. He remains sovereign, He remains supreme. And he will always keep us. Uh, I want to focus on read from John chapter 19. We're going to start from verse 5. So before this, we see that Jesus was brought to Pilate by the Jewish leaders and, you know, asking that he be crucified. And Pilate attempts to pacify them by scourging him. Right? So we see in verse 5, it says, Then came Jesus forth, wearing the thorn of the, the crown of thorns, is John 19, 5. Then came Jesus forth wearing the crown of thorns and the peep and the purple robe. And Pilate saith unto them, Behold the man. When the chief priests therefore and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Take ye him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid. And went again into the judgment hall and said unto Jesus, Whence art thou? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then said Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest know thou not that I have power to crucify thee and have power to release thee? Jesus answered, Thou couldst have no power at all against me except they were given thee from above. Therefore, he that delivered me unto thee hath the greater sin. So you see, we see here that Pilate has Jesus, you know, and Pilate believes that he has the power, the authority to do X, Y, and Z, to crucify Jesus, to release him. But Jesus corrects him. He said, you cannot. No one has power over me. No one can determine what would happen. The only way that you have power or you're able to do anything to determine whether I will be crucified or released is because that power was given to you from on high. We see Jesus here standing on the verge of crucifixion. And he understood full well his authority. And he understood who he was. And as Christians, we need to understand whose we are. That no matter where we find ourselves, no matter the difficulty, whether it's sickness, whether it's pain, whether it's disease, whether it's stress, whether it's persecution, whether it's self-doubt, whose are we? We are children of the living God. And the thing is, God sits on his throne. He has never been dethroned or deposed and he cannot be because he reigns supreme and he is God the supreme being so the thing is okay so whatever I find myself wherever I find myself scripture tells us to give thanks because it's the will of God concerning us in my difficult moments I thank you because you know what you're doing because God is always in control, it gives us a confidence that it will be well. And because God is always in control, it gives us a confidence to trust him at all times. At all times. Because you know what you're doing. We go through all scripture. We have never seen a moment, and we never will, where the power and majesty of God is in question. I trust you because you are God. And you know, I'm reminded in Job, he said, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. That trust, that trust, knowing that your thoughts towards me are always good. 
Your plans for me are always good. You are always good. And your ways and your thoughts are far greater, are far better than mine ever. So we see Jesus in the garden and said, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. And you know, sometimes we think about, okay, well, you know, was it the cross? Was it the pain of the cross? Or the question is, was it the wrath of God being poured out upon him? Him being God himself, knowing full well what that is. But he said, nevertheless, not my will, but yours. Your will be done. He trusted his father. And we trust you, God. You know best. You are always in control. And because of that, we can stand firm. We can stand sure. Because funny things, Pastor John said something, says something that resonates with me all the time. He said, whether we live, we win. Whether we die, we win. Because who has the power over life and death? Who keeps us in life? Who keeps us in death? Where do we go? So thank you, God. I thank you. I thank you. Because you remain in control at all times. And I trust your ways more than I can ever trust mine. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Thank you.